Now in this session, we're going to look at how to create additional new Moldean size for a current system. Uh, I'm just going to draw a simple section of current system. I'm going to select the wall command and from wall architecture and then from the property panel, I'm going to select the typical uh, current wall storefront, which is in the default AutoCAD uh, template file. Just going to pick two points, roughly draw a segment, maybe about six meters. And that should be enough molding for me to look at and play with. Now, based on this current system style, uh, we highlight the current system and select edit type. And we can see based on this style uh, type property here, all the moldings are based on 50 by 150 millimeter. And if we look at the drop down, we have a couple other different sizes, rectangular 30 millimeter square, 50 by 65, um, and then that's basically it. So if we want another size, see for example, I want to have a 150 by 150 uh, moldings, uh, I will have to create a new one. So this is a process of creating additional uh, moldings size for the current system. So first you go to the property um, in the project browser. And then we're going to browse down to the kernel wall mullions and then we look at the uh, rectangular mullions and we look at this and there's actually the three sizes we look at we can see from the drop down now if we want to create additional rectangular size like this we can actually go in here pick on one of these or you can double click to open the type property and let's say we want to have a 150 by 150 millimeter mullions so we're just going to duplicate uh, the type and we're going to change the type name to be 150 millimeter to by 150 millimeter and they eliminate the two at the end and then we can change the width on one size uh, so this is going to be instead of 25 uh, we're going to have 75 so 2 times 75 is 150 so 75 millimeter on each side and then the thing is 150 so we are set and it's like okay now, if we're going to change one of these mullions, first we're going to highlight this uh, current system. We're going to right mouse. And then from the right mouse menu, actually uh, a lot of people did not, is not aware of these uh, quick selection option in here. We can actually select mullions on the host. We can select all the mullions on this current system. And then we can unpin it. So rather than instead of picking each one, we can just go in here and pick that pin command. You want to pin all the mullions. Now, if we go in here, then we can select the mullions. So we can actually use the tab key and cycle through. We can select these mullions and then we can actually highlight it. And then from the property, we can change it to the type that we want 150 by 150. 